In this video, I will be discussing some of the settings and features in Mobile Sheets that control the sizing and scaling of pages. There are two main features that control how pages are enlarged or shrunk from their original size, zooming and page scaling. In this video, I will discuss the page scaling feature. A separate tutorial is available that explores the zooming functionality. To begin, load a song and tap in the center of the screen to bring up the song overlay and then tap the page scaling icon at the bottom of the screen. On the page scaling dialog, there is a dropdown for the default page scaling that is used for all songs. There are four supported page scaling modes. The first mode is fit screen, which is the default selection. In this mode, mobile sheets will enlarge or shrink each page so that they fill the screen as much as possible while still maintaining the original aspect ratio of the page. This mode ensures that as much of the screen is used as possible without a loss in image quality. The second supported mode is Fit Width. This mode will cause the left and right edges of each page to be stretched or shrunk to match the edges of the screen. This may cause pages to be taller than the screen, requiring the user to scroll to see all of the content. This mode is quite useful when the tablet is in landscape orientation and the vertical scrolling display mode is active. This ensures as much of the screen is used as possible while still allowing the user to scroll the pages up or down to see all of the content. The third supported mode is Fit Height. This mode will cause the top and bottom edges of each page to be stretched or shrunk to match the edges of the screen. This may cause pages to be wider than the screen. This mode is not used very often, as there is no way to view the page content that is off the screen without panning the page with touch gestures. The fourth and last supported mode is Full Screen. This mode will stretch each page so that it completely fills the screen, ignoring the original aspect ratio of the page. This will cause some image distortion, which can be very noticeable if a significant amount of stretching is required. If the aspect ratio of the pages closely matches that of the tablet, then not much distortion will occur and the benefit of using the entire screen may be worth the slight reduction in image quality. On the page scaling dialog, there is a setting that controls whether the current song uses the default page scaling settings or overrides those settings. It may be useful in some situations to have some songs use a different aspect ratio than the default. Tapping the Apply button provides a mechanism to apply one song's settings to other songs in the current set list or to the entire library. It is also important to note that a different page scaling mode can be applied per orientation of the tablet. This means that the page scaling mode can be set to fit screen and portrait and fit width and landscape to make the best use of the available screen space. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets, as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.